All right, this is unit 6.3 in Nitro. This is about enhanced uh, for loops. So we're supposed to rewrite the for loop in the starter code. Let's see what this does for starters. We have an array of integers, 17, 34, or whatever, and it is correctly uh, printing out that 17 and 19 are odd. But now, instead of us Okay, instead of us doing this for loop to print out the odd numbers, let's just comment this out. I don't want to delete it because I still want to be able to see it. Let's comment that out. And then let's say something like this. For, for integer num, let's just call it num, in values and then I'm just going to just to make sure we all know how uh, this works this what they're calling a enhanced for loop but it's really a for each loop for each number in the array values print out the number for each number in the array called values print out the number. So this is an alternative to a for loop that has an index counter like I up here. So now let's not always print it out, but only if it's an odd number printed out. So if the current number that we're looking at, mod 2, is 1, then it's an odd number. So if that is true, then print it out. And there we have it. That's all we had to do for that exercise. Oh, we weren't just supposed to print out, um, we weren't we were supposed to print out these words also. Is odd. Forgot about the words there. All right, so that was simple enough. Now on to 637, more enhanced for loops. So in this exercise, we want to rewrite the for each loop that finds the largest value in array, write it as a regular for loop or a while loop. So let's see what this is doing so far. The highest score is 150, that's correct. So this method here that's called um, find max does for each number in the array that we were passed as a parameter called numbers if the current number is greater than the maximum number so far then reset the maximum number so far to be equal to the current number. So the current number will start off at 32, and as soon as we find a number that's bigger than 32, that's gonna get stored as the new max so far. So instead of doing this, we still need that um, helper variable there, the max so far. So now let's do a traditional for loop for int i equals zero, i less than numbers dot length, meaning the length of the numbers array, and then i plus plus, and then basically the same thing. If this number, so the numbers array that they gave me at index i, if that is greater than the max so far, then make the max so far equal to that value and the numbers array at index i. So that should also say that the highest score is 150. And I think that's all we need to do there. 
And then we have, okay, 6.3.8 is classroom array. So this is going to be a little bit different because now instead of having an array of integers, we're going to have an array of objects. And in this case, we're going to have an array of student objects. And the first thing we need to do is we need to finish a couple getter methods over here in the student class because we have a get first name that returns the first name, but we also have a get last name that needs to say return last name. And we also have a get grade level that needs to say return grade level. Now we need all those getter methods because we have private instance variables for first name, last name, and grade level, and we're not going to implement the two string method. So over here, our for each loop that they want us to create is going to look like for each student, and I'm going to call that s in the variable called classroom, I'm going to do something. So for this to work, this has to be an array, and it has to be an array of object student. So for each student that's in this array, this is what we want to do. System.out.println student s dot get first name. And then a plus sign, and then maybe a space, and then this student dot get last name. And let's just print that out for right now to see if that's running correctly and doing what we want it to do. Okay, so that's the class roster. Let's just add one more to this print statement then. We want to, according to the assignment, um, first name space last name, and then this string space is in grade space, end quote, and then the student dot get grade level. And that ends with a semicolon. So I think all of that is OK. For each student S in the classroom, we are printing out what we know about that student, first name, last name, and grade level. I think that's all we had to do there. OK. And then finally, 6.3.9, array average. So complete the average method in the array average class using a for each loop. Create an array average object and print the result. So let's look at this array average class. Um, what we are passing for to the constructor is just an array of integers called the values. And the values, get that's as a parameter, get scored, stored into our instance variable values. So for get average, they want a for each loop. So for each integer, which we'll call num, in the array called values for each num. Give me one second to clear up their spacing here. OK, for each integer, which we're going to call num in the array called values, we want to add something to a sum. So we need a sum variable over here. Let's call it integer my sum equals zero. And then let's add to the sum whatever this number is. And then, then we're going to take my sum and we're going to cast that as a double because we need to return a double. And then we're going to divide by how many numbers we just added together, which is 
the array values dot length. So this should return the average. So now we need an average object, an array average object. So array average a equals new array average. And we need to pass the constructor the name of an array, which is going to be this one here called num array. Give me one second to clear up the spacing here. Okay, and so then system dot out dot print line the average of the array is space end quote plus sign a which is our average object dot get average a dot get average and a double parentheses and a semicolon. So hopefully this will print out 36.5. And that's all we have to do on that one. So that is it for Nitro 6.3. And now you're on to Nitro 6.4.